The 21-year-old martial arts expert, now living in Salt Lake, walked into the Salt Lake Tribune and said, I can move objects without touching them. Reporters and editors, skeptics and believers. At a time when psychic phenomena was all the rage, uh, along came James Heydrich, and he could make pages of a book move uh, just by wanting them to. And he went on chat shows and did the rounds of all the TV stations. And sure enough, anybody could check this out, and he'd wave his hand over the book, a telephone director, for example, and the pages would move. Heydrich's ability to turn the pages of a telephone book made him one of the most famous psychics in the world. Like a sort of paranormal Chuck Norris, Heydrich even opened a martial arts school where he claimed to teach his special powers. Allowing the mind to overpower the body, the mind wills and the body behaves. Local magician Danny Coram decided to investigate and discovered that Heydrich's powers weren't quite what they seemed. He was able to expel air in a very thin, strong jet without moving his lips. Coram managed to duplicate this after uh, a great deal of practice and there's a wonderful scene in the documentary that came out subsequently where Coram attempts to do what Heinrich has been doing and uh, succeeds and the look on Heinrich's face uh, is, is quite uh, bizarre. It fooled everybody, audiences, investigators, journalists, researchers. Okay, so eventually the truth came out and it is a trick and he admitted that and all the rest of it. But for a time there he managed to fool everyone with something that he'd hatched, and that's very hard to do, so you have to give him credit for that. He did not fool it in the conventional magician's way, where you honestly say, I am going to fool you. Uh, but the techniques that he used, the effects he achieved, I think were very strong magic. My whole idea behind this in the first place was to see how dumb America was, how dumb the world is. Look at that, the whole thing, the power, the power. Anyone can do it. There's no skill in it. You'll like this? Oh, no, no, tell me, let me get a chance here. This is a, uh, now watch, watch his head, watch his little tongue come out. Make sure we don't switch it there. I just want to show you this, this is the old uh, cut rope. <laughs> we go, and uh, there's a little piece for you, ah. and uh, a little piece of snake there, ah, uh, yeah, get, a, get some up there, ah, there's some snake for you, we're out of time here, is it? of course, the snake is all, the snake back. is whole, ladies and gentlemen, and he's okay, stay out of the video booth. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll roll up two paper balls this time, and I'll tell you which one is going to disappear, I'm going to count to three. Okay, now count to three, watch the ball. One, two, hang on, <laughs> That electric chair trick with the leaping up out of the chairs is, is brilliant, and I so much wanted to learn how to do that, I think, when I, when I saw it. And I spent weeks trying to work it out, you know, was he giving them a shock? Was there kind of a pin, remote control, going up into their bums? What? You can sit down now, you've got his chair. <laughs> What's the ball? What's the ball? Feet together. Watch the ball. One, two, three! I've no idea how that's done. But it's hypnosis, isn't it? He, he, he doesn't claim to be a hypnotist, does he? They were. They were hypnotised. I've seen. I've been hypnotised. I think a lot of people would put this down to kind of hypnosis. It isn't. This man's entertained us for a long time. A round of applause to go back to his feet. He has never met those guys before. Everything you see is, is as it happens. And he can do I've seen him do it live with any chairs, with any two guys. It always works. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Don't pa nobody pa nobody panic. Go back to your seat. I've got to go now, ladies and gentlemen. We've, um, 